Imagine waking up to find that every single file on your computer has been encrypted and the only way to get them back is by paying a hefty sum to an unknown entity. It's a chilling scenario, isn't it? Yet it's becoming a reality for businesses at an alarming rate, with one falling victim to ransomware every 11 seconds. The global cost of these attacks is skyrocketing, anticipated to hit $20 billion by 2021. The threat is real, and it's growing. But what exactly is ransomware, and how does it work? How? In the simplest terms, ransomware is a type of malicious software. It's like a digital burglar sneaking into your computer system unnoticed, but instead of stealing your valuables, it takes your data hostage. Suddenly, your files are encrypted, locked away from you. And here comes the kicker. The cybercriminals behind the ransomware demand a ransom for your data's release. It's digital extortion on a global scale, and it's as terrifying as it sounds. Now, how does ransomware get inside your system? Often, it's through seemingly harmless methods. You might receive a phishing email with an attachment that, once opened, unleashes the ransomware. Or maybe you clicked on a malicious advertisement online. The point is, it doesn't take a lot to fall into the trap. No industry is safe from these attacks, but some are more targeted than others. Healthcare, finance and government sectors bear the brunt of these attacks. These industries are particularly vulnerable to ransomware attacks, and here's why. The healthcare industry, for example, is a prime target because of its reliance on time-sensitive data. Imagine a hospital where patient records, drug inventory or even life-supporting devices are compromised. The potential for loss of life makes the urgency to restore systems paramount, often leading to higher ransom payouts. Similarly, the finance sector, with its wealth of sensitive data and financial resources, is a goldmine for cybercriminals. They exploit this sector's need for constant access to data and transactions, making it a lucrative target for ransomware attacks. The government sector, too, is highly targeted. Imagine the chaos if public services or critical infrastructure were compromised. The potential for disruption and the high stakes involved make these sectors attractive to attackers. But what happens when a business or individual falls victim to a ransomware attack? Let's delve into this in our next segment. Meet John, a small business owner whose company was hit by a crippling ransomware attack. John was like many entrepreneurs, juggling responsibilities and keeping his business afloat. One Tuesday morning, he opened his laptop to find a chilling message. His files were encrypted and a ransom was demanded for their release. The shock was visceral, a cold realization that his business was under siege from an invisible foe. John's initial reaction was disbelief. His business was a small one, not a multinational conglomerate. Why would cyber criminals target him? But as he frantically tried to access his files, the reality set in. His business's lifeline, its data, was held hostage. In the following days, John scrambled to recover his files. He reached out to IT experts, hoping they could crack the encryption. But the cyber criminals were sophisticated, their ransomware complex. The experts could offer no easy solutions. The clock was ticking, and with each passing hour, the survival of John's business hung in the balance. Then came the difficult decision, to pay or not to pay the ransom. John was torn. Paying would encourage the criminals, yet not paying could mean the end of his business. After much deliberation, John decided to pay, a decision that weighed heavily on his conscience. John's business survived the attack, but it was a pyrrhic victory. The financial impact was significant, but the damage didn't stop there. His business's reputation took a hit. Customers questioned the security of their data, and some took their business elsewhere. The ransomware attack left a scar, a constant reminder of the vulnerability of the digital world. John's story is not unique. It's a stark reminder of the devastation a ransomware attack can bring. It highlights the importance of strong cybersecurity measures and the grim reality that no one is immune to these attacks. The digital world is a battlefield, and we are all potential targets. Protecting ourselves and our businesses is not just about installing the latest antivirus software. It's about understanding the threat, staying vigilant and being prepared for the unexpected. So what can we learn from John's story? Well, first and foremost, the importance of regular data backups cannot be overstated. This simple step can mean the difference between business continuity and a complete shutdown. It's your safety net, your insurance policy against data loss. Second, Investing in cybersecurity training for your staff is crucial. Remember, 
A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Ensuring that everyone understands how to identify and avoid potential threats can significantly reduce the risk of a ransomware attack. Third, having an incident response plan in place is essential. This plan should outline the steps to take in the event of an attack, helping to minimize damage and disruption. It should include communication strategies, data recovery methods, and ways to identify and rectify security breaches. Never underestimate the power of preparedness. It's your best defense against the growing threat of ransomware. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Don't let yourself or your business become the next ransomware victim. Equip yourself with the knowledge to fight back. Subscribe for more cybersecurity insights and become a part of this digital defense community. Have you experienced a ransomware attack? Share your story in the comments below. Your experience could help others stay safe. Want to dive deeper? Check out our related videos for more insights into the world of cyber threats. Stay safe in the digital world and remember, knowledge is your best defense against ransomware.